Hello folks, it's Curtis from Yeti Auto Detailing coming at you with a brand new exciting video. So in today's video, this is going to kick off a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to call it the Showcase Series. Uh, it's going to showcase various different products that are consumer friendly and easy to purchase, uh, easy to use. We'll go over the steps and tips and tricks on how to use them uh, as far as applications and whatnot goes. So today's very first video is going to be covering a product called Rage. It's by Superior Products. They're based out of South Roxana, Illinois. Uh, the price point of this is relatively cheap. It's about $20. You can go to uh, O'Reilly's and pick it up. Now you won't find it on the shelf, so you'll have to actually give the stock number, if you can read that, of C66-1. Uh, one being one gallon if you want a pint of it it's PT uh, instead of the one now uh, again priced at about twenty dollars it comes in a concentrated form so you can dilute it down uh, the directions on the bottle say four to one uh, I've seen it diluted down to ten to one before and worked just as efficiently uh, again you can pick it up from O'Reilly's O'Reilly's about the only place you can pick it up from you can go on their website on a superior products website and order it directly from them uh, however it, it's next day delivery at O'Reilly's and most of the time for free so without further ado we'll go ahead and put this on the tire uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a contact wash and a no contact wash just via a 32 ounce spray bottle uh, see how how well it holds up via both I have my suspicions as well as I'm going to use my IK foam sprayer on the other two tires. We'll do a contact wash and a no contact wash as well. Uh, I'm going to be using a garden hose and some of the other videos I've seen with it uh, being used for no contact wash. They've used a pressure washer with a turbo nozzle. I'm not going to use that. I have those. However, I'm going to keep this simplistic and we're going to see if a garden hose actually takes care of the brake dust. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, folks, so as you can see, this tire is not completely hammered, uh, but it does have brake dust and whatnot on it. It's been about two months since I put a good tire dressing on it. So it's in need of some maintenance. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. On uh, this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and simply spray the whole thing down, let it dwell for, I don't know, about 30 seconds and then rinse it off and see how well this does just with a touchless uh, wash. So I'm just gonna simply, let's see where it's at. Come on, Curtis, get the spray bottle working right. Nope, not enough. Sorry guys. All right, so it comes out nasty brown, as you can see. But it kind of clings real well. I'm just going to simply get the whole thing coated. Use a little bit extra product. Just kind of give it a little longer dwell time. Alright, so we're going to simply let it set for about 30 seconds. And uh, I'll go, like I said, I'll go ahead and rinse it off. Now I am going to use a garden hose. I've seen some people use turbo nozzles on the pressure washer for this. For this particular instance, I want to see how a garden hose does because I know not a lot of people have pressure washers or, you know, they simply just have, like I said, garden hoses. So I want to see how it, how it holds up to that. So we'll go ahead and wait a couple more seconds, give it some dwell time again, like I said, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll go ahead and grab my nozzle. Lay it off. All right, so at first look, it does look like it took a bulk of it off. However, uh, running my finger across it, I can still see, you know, pockets of brake dust. Uh, 
yeah I'm not too satisfied with with that so I'll come back over it later and, and clean it really well all right so we'll move on to the uh, the other tire and we'll go ahead and do a contact wash on it all right so here we are at the back tire uh, we're gonna go ahead and douse it down and do an actual contact wash on it so I'll go ahead and get started All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit again, like I said, for about 30 seconds. And uh, I'll be using a variety of different brushes. I have in my bucket here, I've got some Mr. Pink soap, as well as my wheelbarrow brush. I've got my Shine Master tire brush, and I've got a detailer's brush in here as well. If I can find it. There it is. This works really well for the lug nuts and getting the face of the, the tire as well. So, or the wheel, sorry. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds, so I'll go ahead and scrub it. And uh, go from there. I'm gonna switch hands real quick. Getting soap all over my phone, but that's okay. Just simply scrub around the tire. And there goes my stool. All right, we'll get the wheel brush. Go ahead and get the inside barrels. Always want to start working from the top to the bottom. Get it off again. Lug nuts. Clean the face a little bit. Guys, if you don't have access to a detailer's brush or you haven't purchased one, don't worry. You can use a microfiber wash mitt, just make or a microfiber towel. Just make sure whatever you do. You segregate that one specific wash mitt or towel and uh, use it for tires and wheels only. All right, so we're just going to rinse it off. All right, and as you can see, way cleaner, way cleaner. And I mean, obviously that was gonna work way better than the uh, the touchless. And I mean, the touchless did work. Uh, however, it just, I'm not comfortable with that. Maybe maybe the, uh, the foaming application will make it work because that'll actually help the product to cling a little bit better and, uh, and whatnot. So we'll give that a try on the other side. All right, here we are on the other side of the vehicle. Uh, as I said, I've got my IK foam sprayer and uh, we'll go ahead and foam it up and see how it does with the contact, with the no contact wash. I'll tell you what, it does foam very well. Pump it back up. And I'll tell you what, this foam sprayer. All right, so we'll let her set for about 30 seconds again and we'll rinse her off. I'm liking the foam sprayer. It's clinging very well to the surface. So that's telling me it's gonna do a really, I hope a really well, a good job. Uh, I will tell you the, the scent of this product is somewhat obnoxious. It smells really chemically. 
has a really chemical smell to it. Uh, but if you can get past that, I mean, if you can handle Meguiar's wheel brightener, uh, this, this is a walk in the park compared to that. All right, so we'll go ahead and spray it down and uh, see how well it did. All right, so at first glance, it seems to have worked really well on some of the areas that just had light brake dust on it. However, if it's a little more caked on, this stuff is a little more tenacious. I don't know, maybe a little more dwell time would have made it work well, but uh, kind of got my hopes down. Who knows, uh, with, the, uh, with the turbo nozzle on a pressure washer, uh, it may, may work a lot better. Uh, but like I said, for this application, I wanted to do it for the people who do not have uh, pressure washers and, and make this a little more realistic. So we'll go ahead and move to the back uh, tire and do it with a contact wash and see how it does. All right, folks, here we go again with the, uh, with the foam sprayer and we'll do a contact wash on this one. All right, we'll let it dwell for about 30 seconds again and uh, see how it does. I'll go ahead and get my brushes out. All right, so I got my tire brush. I'm liking the foam. That foam is really something else. Alright, that's that. Go ahead and clean the barrels. again like I said if you don't have access to these detailer brushes you can like I said use a microfiber mitt or a they make wheel brushes actual uh, soft face soft bristled wheel brushes they're about nine ten bucks on Amazon uh, I think chemical guys makes one pretty sure griots makes their own uh, pricing may may vary as far as that goes. So, make sure I get all the faces where that brake dust can be tenacious. All right, go ahead and close it off. So again, as I expected, the product did really, really well on a contact wash. Uh, was able to remove all of the brake dust off of this rim face, uh, clean the tire efficiently, and whatnot. All right, so I'll go ahead and go back inside, and we'll go over my final thoughts. All right, folks. So now for my final thoughts on this product. So as I said before, this is uh, Superior Products Rage. Uh, there are really only two ways you can purchase this one being directly off their website uh, you will have to pay shipping for it however you can also pick it up from O'Reilly's you'll just have to go in and either give them the part number off of it or you can go on their website and order it uh, just search the part number the C66-1 uh, you can get it shipped to their store for free go pick it up most of the time the next day so at $20 a gallon, I really can't say anything bad about this uh, product. And like I said, who knows, maybe with a uh, pressure washer and a turbo nozzle, 
it might have worked really well with a with the touchless wash i have my suspicions on maybe a more hammered hammered tire with a lot of caked caked on heavy brake dust i don't think in that application it would really work well but uh who knows uh, when i come across something like that i'll be sure to jump on and shoot a video uh, this is something i'm going to throw in my personal arsenal just because of the the price point like i said the quality of it it really does well and it and it serves serves very well for for what it is so uh again i hope i created kind of a non-biased uh, opinion on it uh and and we'll just keep going from there uh so go ahead and comment down below if you like what you saw uh subscribe click the notification button uh i had to take kind of a little pause for the holidays and whatnot but i'm back on track and uh i'll be coming at you with another video uh, my next video, I'm going to be showcasing another tire cleaner that, that will hopefully surprise you uh, as far as price, affordability, and ease of, ease of purchase and whatnot. Uh, if you, like I said, if you like these videos, these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe. This is kind of what I'm going to be making this channel all about is showcasing products that you can use both on a professional grade as well as, uh, as, well as consumer grade. Uh, being your hobbyists, your DIYers, your enthusiasts, your weekend warriors, whatnot, and, and, and yeah. So again, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we'll go from there.